politic. I might not be wearing pants. So what got my attention this weekend for uh, Bureau Politic uh, was the Obamacare issue. People are losing their insurance plan. And the big question is, is Obama a big fat liar? Because evidently they knew some people might lose their plan. And Chris Wallace was on TV asking, doesn't it demand the plans change? But here's the thing. This is, I just hate the way these things are talked about. Um, so here's what I, my understanding of it. Okay. You have certain plans that are not going to be allowed anymore. They're substandard according to the new standards, right? They have these caps or they certain kind of pre-existing conditions, things that are below what you're going to have to get at the bottom level. So there's plans that were below what is the new bottom level. And Obama has said very clearly, nobody would lose their plans. So here's that plan. This is the plan that will no longer be allowed. Okay, an important part is the way this rollout, like we've had Obamacare for years and years, but not really, just slowly a rollout. So this point, this is where Obamacare became law, and then this is where, you know, healthcare, now, healthcare.gov, this is my understanding, this is a diagram so anybody can correct my mistakes. Okay, so part of the problem is, what do we have? We have a lot of events in here, like, I forget, was it right away or a little bit after that we had the provision where uh, non-minors can still be on your plan, you know, your kids, um, when they move out and stuff. And, you know, other stuff, I don't know, this and that and the other, other things, every little detail rolling out. And then here we got healthcare.gov, and we're going to have to, actually buy one of those plans sometime soon as well. I guess, I don't know. I have insurance through my employer. <coughs> okay, so the issue is, as of this date, those plans were still being sold. And now as of this date, you can't sell these plans anymore. But, You can grandfather, be grandfathered, this plan here. Oh, except for what about these people? Right? Who's grandfathered? Anybody before here grandfathered? No. Anybody that bought it before the law became enacted. So there's this weird period, this gray period, that's not going to be grandfathered. That is, since Obamacare passed, please correct me, I, this took a while trying to find out if this is what the, it really was about. Because they're just going, was he a liar? Was he not? Look at the sound clip. Sounds like he said nobody would lose their plan. Some people are losing their plan. Okay. So, there is a clause to grandfather. There's no doubt about that. So, it seems to me there's two things going on. One, these people that signed up in the last couple years for plans that are no longer allowed, they will not be grandfathered because they signed up after Obamacare was enacted. And the law said that this would be the grandfathering date, so buyer beware. But that's not really who's being losing their supposed insurance anyway seems to me. What's really happened is the insurance companies are not going to offer these plans anymore. So they're not trying to do this. They're putting an end to this. Right here. And they're canceling people. If somebody signed up here, and somebody signed up here, and somebody signed up here. The insurance company is canceling and deciding not to take advantage of the laws provision for them to grandfather these people in. There's no law saying they have to grandfather those people in. These private insurance companies can change their plans whenever they want. For some reason, they don't want to let people stay on these plans. It 
could be because those are crap plans that people are going to have to buy the other plans anyway. And if the plan's more and they're going to try to charge more or whatever, but how is this? I mean, we, we talk, they talked all weekend about if Obama was a liar, but this, this you had to dig and dig to find that, that this is really what they're talking about. See, in associational logic land, you only talk about, is Obama a liar? Did he lie? You don't talk about what the actual situation is. And thus, you don't really get to the actual important questions, uh, you know, are, should these people be part of the grandfathering? They were warned here. Should the insurance companies keep these open? Why are the insurance company canceling these plans when they have, when they're allowed to grandfather it? Those would be informative questions. So, uh. Yeah, I don't think this is even a big deal at all. I think uh, this is not plans going up. Plans that were substandard. Hey, for five bucks, I'll send you a get well note. Five bucks a day. Send you a get well note. That's no longer considered an insurance plan. It's going to cost a little more for a real one, you know. So... The, the issue with rates going up is, for example, I have insurance. Is my insurance going to go up or down? That's the question. Not, can you find somebody on earth where it will go up because that isn't even considered an insurance plan anymore? No, like for the same thing, is it going to go up? But the, the Obamacare has a grandfathering. You know, and they, the way they rolled this stuff out so slowly you know, maybe made it confusing, but it has a grandfather clause. The government saying we are not going to take anybody's health insurance away doesn't mean that private insurance companies can't change their plans if they want and, and remove plans that they can't sell anymore, but they could keep people on there. They could just keep processing and have that old plan. My cell phone has grandfathered plans for, and agreements. I don't think it's that uh, confusing that the company has decided to shut down those old plans now. Companies plural, I guess.